Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, She Plans, She Budgets. In today's video, we'll be closing out my budget for the month of June, so let's get started. All right, so you see here, I'm opened up to my June monthly budget spread. Um, so starting with my income, we're gonna go over my actuals, but let's first take a look at paychecks one and two. All right, so here is paycheck one, and has, as we can see, I brought home a total of $1,919.49. I had a rollover from May of $222.45 and miscellaneous of $100. For paycheck two, you can see here that I brought in $1,919.50 and I had a miscellaneous of $340. All right, so this rollover from paycheck one wouldn't count towards my total income because that is a factor of the 19, 1949 right here. So we're just going to write down those actuals for my income on the monthly budget spread. All right, so paycheck one again was an actual of $1,919.49. Paycheck two was an actual of $1,919.50. Okay, May's rollover was exact as well. $222.45. And then my total miscellaneous was $440, which came from my boyfriend. So... All right, so I'm just going to total these up. So that was 19, 19, 49 plus 19, 19, 50 plus 222, 45 plus $440 equals $4,501.44. Okay, so 4501.44, and that is the total income I had to work with for this month. All right, so I'm gonna flip you back over to paychecks one and two. All right, so in paycheck one, we can see that my expenses and bills were exact, except for my auto insurance, it was five cents cheaper. And then over here for paycheck two, we see that all of my expenses were exact as well. The only difference being for my Perkins loan right here, this was the minimum payment and I made that, plus an additional $200 out of this $433.18 leftover from Paycheck 2. So 200 of these dollars went towards my Perkins loan and then additional $13.32 went towards the interest on my Great Lakes loan. So just flipping to my debt tracker really quickly. So Perkins loan was the UAS. They got the 138.86 plus the additional $200. And then these group of five loans right here for Great Lakes had a $13.32 interest sitting on them between March 10th and March 13th prior to the 0% interest being applied with the administrative forbearance. So I decided just to pay off that $13 interest. So again, 200 for the top and then an additional 1332 for the bottom. And I have that marked here because I did have a goal of $200 for a debt snowball payment for the month of June. So I did meet that goal of $200 at $213.32 exactly. All right, so for my expenses, we will just go ahead and write down the actuals. So Xfinity was $26.65. iTunes was $15.98. Auto insurance was $106.82. It was five cents less. My mortgage for July was $1,274.00. And 50 cents. Perkins loan was the 138.86 plus the additional $200. And I'm going to go ahead and add the 1332 that went to Great Lakes just so I don't have to make a separate line to show that. So, in total, for payment that went towards student loans 
was $352.18. All right. So $352.18. Utilities was $209. Sprint $135.15. Scribble Prince Co. $33.34. Verizon 109.66, T-Mobile 75 even, and then for unbudgeted, from my weekly check-in number three, I did have an overage of $128.30. So $128.30. All right, so I'm just going to total that all up. So 26.65 plus 15.98 plus 106.82 plus 12.74.50 plus 352.18 plus 209 plus 135.15. Plus 33.34 plus 109.66 plus 75 and then plus 128.30 gives me a total of $2,466.58 is was my actual bills and expenses for this month. What I originally budgeted was $2,125.01 but as you can see my actual was about $300 more. And that was because of the unbudgeted expenses as well as the extra debt snowball payment. So again, my total was $2,466.58. All right, so next for my um, cash in savings, we do know from my cash envelope stuffing video that I did spend, or not spend, but I did stuff $590 as well as I stuffed my cash envelopes for $7.25. And from paycheck one plus paycheck two, I did give myself a total of $500 for personal spending. All right, so there was no variance here. So this total is still the same at $1,815. All right, so bringing down my totals, my total income for the month was $4,501.44. Total bills and expenses was $2,466.58. And cash and savings was $1,815 even. All right, so doing that math, $4,501.44. Minus 2466 with 58 cents minus 1815 leaves me with $219.86. And that number should look familiar to you all if you have seen my July's monthly budget. That amount will be carried into July as a rollover amount. So I am left with a total of $219.86. All right. All right, so that is the ending for my June monthly budget. I am rolling into July with $219.86. And then for my weekly check-in page from week, um, from week number four, um, feel free to check out this video if you haven't seen it already. And my ending balances for my cash envelopes is I have $100 for gas, $20 for laundry, $144 for groceries and household. And I will be rolling into July with a personal spending of $187.41. And then for sinking funds, I'll be rolling over $3,012. And then we can go ahead and flip to my sinking funds page where we can verify this amount. Because I already counted the cash envelopes with you all in my week four check-in video, um, I'm only going to just count the sinking funds for today.
right, so starting with self-care, we see that I started with 30, added in 30 to total 60, and I had one transaction for $7. So that means I should still have $53 remaining. For pets, I started with 40, added 40 for a total of 80, and then I've subtracted five, and then I subtracted 20, so 80 minus 25 equals $55 minus 25 and I should still have a remaining of $55 all right for car maintenance I didn't spend anything so I should still have $380 remaining gifts I had a total of 90 plus 20 which is 110 and then I spent a total of 46 plus 20, so $66. And I should have $44 remaining. Vet and grooming, I didn't spend anything. So I should still have 260 plus 20, which is 280. Vacation, I didn't spend anything. So I should have 900 plus 150, which is $1,050. My 30th birthday, I had 640, added 100, didn't spend. So I should, so I should still have $740 remaining. Same thing for my boyfriend's birthday. I added in $100, so I should still have $100 because I didn't spend anything. Home projects. Nothing spent, so 260 plus 50 is $310. Then lastly for lawn care, I added 40 to a starting balance of 40 to equal 80, and then I spent 40 and another 40, so I spent all that was added in there. So that is now zero. And I got everything, okay. So for this month, I spent a total of 40 plus 5 plus 20 plus 7 plus 40 plus 46 plus 20. I spent a total of $178. Okay, and let's just see this math going across. So 2600 plus 590 equals 3190 and then subtracting 178 is three thousand and twelve dollars all right all right as you know I keep my sinking funds and cash envelopes in this mini heavy planner that I did hole punch myself and my envelopes are from mojo cuts on Etsy all right, so the first three envelopes are my cash envelopes that I did already count and verify in weeks four check-in video. So I'm going to start with self-care and I should have $53, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 92, 93. Okay, all good. Let the envelope show a little bit because they're super cute. So self-care is all there. Pets should have 55. So 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55. Okay, that is all there. Next is next is car maintenance that looks like this. And this should have $380. One, two, three hundred, three fifty, three seventy, three eighty. All right, next is gifts. I figure it would just be easier just to take them out the book. <laughs> so gifts should have forty four dollars. 
20, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. All right. All good there. Next is vet and grooming. And this should have $280. So 50, 100, 150, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280. Okay, so that's all there, good. Next is vacation, which is this envelope right here. And this should have $1,050. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven fifty, eight, eight fifty, nine, nine fifty, ten, ten fifty. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have been traveling so far since some of the states have been reopening, or if you have any plans to travel in the near future. Next is my birthday, which should be seven hundred and forty dollars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven twenty, seven forty. And I'm so excited for my birthday coming up in November. Got a few more months to save for that, and then got to get to planning. My boyfriend's birthday is actually in the same month. His should have $100 right now, and you can pretty much see that it's 100 so I'll leave that alone. His birthday, and I, his birthday and my birthday are actually in the same month is what I was trying to say. <laughs> so next is home projects, which should be $310. So 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 310. All right. And then lastly is lawn care, which is zero, and you can see that it's empty. All right, so again, all of these numbers should equal the $3,012, which will get rolled into July. All right, the last envelope to show you that is not a part of my sinking funds is my miscellaneous that should still have $100. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. I'm going to keep this money assess accessible because I may need to use it to cover my expenses in July. If not, I'll probably eventually roll it into a debt snowball payment. I'm just trying to be um, cautious because like I mentioned in a previous video a little while back, um, July, August, and September are my most expensive months for my budget. Um, so I just wanted to keep this money in case I need it for any future expenses. But if I end up not using it by September, it will for sure get thrown to debt because I don't know, I don't really have another reason for it but that's why it's in my miscellaneous folder and not I mean envelope and not my debt snowball envelope because I haven't committed to throw it to a debt snowball just yet and then like always that I mentioned my savings is on my bank account but I do like this envelope so in case I want to put anything to savings that was rolled over from like a cash envelope or something which would be gas groceries or laundry um, I will put it in here and then have it deposited into my savings account. And then the last envelope in the back is eating out that I'm currently not dedicating money to, although you see that I eat out plenty. I'm just not um, budgeting or setting aside money for this envelope. I was like literally before the pandemic, but that was like the only thing I cut sort of once the pandemic hit. I pretty much try to keep everything else the same for as much as I can. And July is starting to look a little tough. So fingers crossed everything works out and I can keep budgeting everything as I have planned. But if anything needs to give, one thing I have thought about 
I'm not funding is vacation because I normally do $150 a month. I don't have any current vacation plans in the near future, although I would like to go somewhere, but I'm not going to um, jump the gun just in case, you know, things aren't quite as safe as it may seem from the news, the TV, the government, whatever. So because I don't have any right now plans, I could skip this um, for my next cash stuffing if, you know, money doesn't look right for July. Or if I even do end up stuffing it, I can take it out <laughs> or and do something like that just to make ends meet. But fingers crossed for right now. And then my last page is my debt tracker that I kind of sort of went over a little bit. So I have six loans remaining. I made a payment on uh, this loan, which is my UAS loan with, or my Perkins loan with UAS. I made the minimum of 138.86 plus an additional 200. And then I made an interest loan only to Great Lakes, which are these five loans right here that um, had an interest between March 10th and March 13th before the administrative forbearance of $13.32. And that is what's reflected right here to $13.32 because I had a goal of $200 extra debt snowball payment for June and I have that same goal for July. For my savings tracker here, I decided not to put any money aside to savings for the month of June. I do still have my starter emergency fund of $1,000 and I have a debt savings of $400 which would be from money that I had from between March and May. So March, April, and May. Majority of it is from my income tax return I received in March, and then the rest of it is from my paychecks between March and May. The total of $4,000. And I call this a debt savings because this is money that I would have thrown to debt had it not been to, for the pandemic. But because of the pandemic, I decided to keep this money accessible so that um, I could use it in a case of an emergency or anything like that. And then once the pandemic is over, I'll probably put this money towards debt and then I'll be back down to my starter emergency fund of $1,000. But right now I have a total of $5,000 um, accessible on hand for savings. All right, so then the last page I'm going to take you to is my calendar view, which is right here. And I'm going to move my expense tracker legend to July. So here you can see all of my expenses and no spends for the month. I had a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, no spend days, which is pretty cool. So about Every other day I spent some money, which isn't bad because um, as long as it's within budget is good minus, you know, week three. And you guys, if you see my week three video, you know what was going on that week and how I got into a little bit of trouble. But anyway, overall, I still feel like I had a good month. All bills were paid, which is always a good thing. And yeah, I enjoyed myself a little bit and I was able to start um, throwing extra money towards debt. So I will count June as a good month overall. So that is basically everything that I have for you all. I want to thank you all so much for watching today's video. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my July videos coming up. Bye!